Mullen are one of Ulster's total battlers. It doesn't matter what sort of Mullen team you ever go up against, they all battle and battle and battle with you. More or less the quarters of that game, it was a good tight Ulster Championship match. Yes, it's one of those matches along the way where uh, you look back on it and it's not highlighted. Uh, Semi-final of the Ulster Championship against Monaghan uh, wasn't easy, certainly stuttered. Dusty Shepherded by Jerry Hoy, a lovely change of pace and direction. Left Hoy, what a score by Cassidy! Monaghan were, were giving us health a lot for a play part of that game. Um, well, they, were, they, were, they were with us for a long stage and Monaghan, Monaghan was always hard to beat, tough team to beat in the championship. Just cleared away, hopefully upfield by Frank McAnany. Collected by Moon. Ray McCarran. A bit of magic required. And he provides it. And Jay Moon. And Moon comes out, not with the ball, but still maintains possession for Monaghan. Flanagan, Gregory that is, kicks it over. Close enough at half-time, I remember Eamon opening up, particularly at half-time, that he, th he was afraid that there was no more complacency had crept in. But lost track of the number of times Jared Moon has got the ball today. What a score by Moon! Joe Brawley made his first appearance that day. There's a sub he hadn't tugged out for the, for the first round. Himself and Brian McCormick both come on. I'm right, I think they maybe scored three points each from playing the semi on the second half. Up goes Tohull. In sweeps McCormick. Decides to switch the play. Brawley's back in the championship. Left foot by Brawley. What a way to return to Jason Park. The solicitor from Dungiven. I was coming back from injury and he brought me on for the last 20 minutes of the Monaghan game in the Ulster semi-final, which we sort of nearly, we, we were in danger for a while in it. Brawley runs into a cul-de-sac, switches onto the left foot, delightful improvisation by Joe Brawley. Brian McCormick's introduction and Joe Brawley's introduction and both of those gave us a bit of a spur and uh, we just were able to rally towards the end, but there was nothing in that. And uh, obviously we felt we were a better team than Monaghan, but it was a banana skin. As Derry and a delighted Eamon Coleman go back into yet another oh, Ulster yeah. final. A brave challenge by Monaghan. Great to be back in an Ulster final, two years in a row. And, uh, so even though it's, it's not the highlight of the All-Ireland final, it was another significant victory. I'm delighted, delighted to come out the right side of it.